the 1964 Mercury Comet by AMT Ertl, Model King, coming up next on Monster Hobby's What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again, Monster Hobbies fans. Are you ready for another exciting unboxing? Well, today we have a very cute little one. This is a 1964 a Mercury Comet by AMT Ertl, also by Model King. Now, Model King, every now and again, will get together with AMT Ertl and put out a whole bunch of model kits that are AMT Ertl molds but are not in any circulation. So I managed to get one of these back in the day. And uh, now I want to share with you what's in the box. But before I do that, of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell that's down here in the corner somewhere, little red bell, so that every time I make a video, you are the first ones to know about it. And now uh, let's go down where the rubber hits the road and open up the lid on this great little car. And now once again it is time to go down to the Mercury dealership and check out this cool car in their showroom. This is the AMT Earl 1964 Mercury Comet Calente Edition brought to you by Model King. So this one is in the AMT vaults. Model King released it back doesn't have a year on here. Oh, might have here. Back in 2005 by RC2. Okay, so it says models built by John White and photos by Doug White. White. So this is actually the model kit itself and there's a guy in there. <laughs> Put in by the magic of Photoshop. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's the rear three quarter view. You can see it's got 1964 molded in the license plate, which is good if you're doing like showroom models, because then you can just paint that little rectangle in there and paint the letters a different color. Uh, there's the parts. So as you can see, this is very simple, but could make a very good slot car. So this review will not be very long, I can tell you. There's the front view. I think I had this in the window. It depleted the color a little bit. Okay. Now let's crank the lid off here. Come on. Okay, move this out of the way. And there's the instructions. We'll move the parts out of the way. We'll look at them in a minute. So this is a Craftsman Series 64 Comet Catalina. Uh, Calanti, sorry. A Catalina. Okay. Um, now, as you can see, this is very simple. It's got a one-piece interior bucket. Shifter level drops into place. Steering wheel pops into the dashboard. Now, I do believe that this could have been a promo that you would have bought with the car back in 64. Um, looks very much that way. The bucket drops into the windshield. The windshield drops into these holes here. And there are uh, big tubes there. So, slot car guys, this is for you. You can put screws into those for your custom-built brass chassis. Speaking of the chassis, there it is. The metal wheels just, or the wheels pop into the tires, go through the metal axles into the one on the other side. These long pins, of course, you can chop them off, drill a hole through them, find that big long special screw and screw it together. And there's the back. No custom pieces or anything. Oh, you do get optional spotlights, pardon me. <laughs> Nothing major. The rear grille, the tail lights, the bumper, the front grille going in, paint. Use a little bit of uh, Tamiya Clear with a little tiny drop of some kind of blue or white just to add a little detail onto those lights, make them look more like glass under there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So this would be a promo model or good candidate for slot car racing. So without further ado, let's go down and check out the parts. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at in this Mercury Comet kit is of course the body and Model King AMT was nice enough to actually put this folded piece of cardboard in here when they shipped the model so that the roof would not get compressed in the kit. Now this model has some really nice details to it even though it is a simplistic old screw bottom type kit. There's the post for the screw bottom. 
there is some very nice crisp detail here where it says Comet. I know the camera is having problems picking this up, but anyway, there is the nice script in there. A couple of sink marks from those post pillars in the back. Oop, but there's the hole molded in the body for the rear antenna. And of course we've got holes here for spotlights, which were popular back in the day. And again, some more sink marks on that hood. That's okay, a little bit of filler. They have the Calente inscribed there in script. A bit of flash on here, but nothing you couldn't get rid of with your hobby knife. Now, since this is an old kit, the door handles are molded in place. And of course, it's got the little spot for your key underneath. So very nice, very nice, crisp, easy to build kit. Now, our next component here is the underbody. And it, it doesn't have the holes in here for the screws. But if you really wanted to, you could drill those out and put screws right into the body for the old school touch. Now, as you can see, everything is molded underneath as a one pan. So I'm expecting that this kit actually would have a straight six, the real car, I mean, because there's a single exhaust out here and that transmission looks very narrow. Uh, very simplistic, everything's molded as a one piece underneath and it does have holes in here for the metal axles to go through for your wheels and tires. And again, if you flip this upside down, you've got these elongated pins that are sticking up here, which would go underneath the body. Next up, we have the interior tub with all the seats and everything molded in as one shot. The door handles and everything would be pretty small, pretty flat, considering that the way that they molded this. But keep in mind that this kit would have been in a car dealership and you'd be able to buy it when you bought your new 64 Mercury Comet back in the day. Now, despite the simplicity of the build of this kit, the dashboard is actually really nicely detailed for what it is. And after you clean up the flash in here, it's an easy drop into the interior. There is a nice vent up here, which I don't know if you can see it too well and a hole down here for our steering wheel to fit in. And they provided the steering wheel in this plastic bag. I'm not gonna take it out of there. There is no horn ring for that steering wheel, but it is a nicely detailed piece and actually has the little finger bumps and divots along the back of the steering wheel itself. Now we get into my favorite parts, the chrome tree, and there's some very beautiful detail done with the chrome. Now these have the molded in headlamps, which are very popular for AMT kits of this vintage. But if you don't want these like that and you want glass in there, you could find the centers of these, find an appropriate drill in your drills and drill them. Don't go all the way through but just drill the head of the drill down a little bit in there. Actually, you probably would go all the way through. Anyway, so you're trying to make a little cup shape with the drill head. And then, of course, you could glue in some clear glass from some other kits for your headlights. Uh, the, the hubcaps are very nicely detailed. These are 14 inch wheels. I looked it up. <laughs> And then, of course, you get your rear detail in here and the rear bumper. They do have 1964 molded in here, so you could paint these and then dry brush on the letters for a showroom type license plate or file them off and use some decals from other kits that you may have around. These are the rear view mirrors on there. And we've got our spotlights, our rear antenna and our gear shift lever. And this little funny thing over in this corner is actually the hood ornament. So now we have our actual glass pieces. We've got our windshield here. This is the front of the window and of course the back. And in typical 1964 style, it has these rails that go all the way across. 
So if you have your saw, you might want to cut this window down about here, or maybe even to the curvature, and uh, cut it off here so that you don't see these big rails when you turn the finished model over and look in through the top side windows. And right here we have our tail lights. These come in with the bag with the tires, and they're nicely molded in red and very short. And the final last but not least pieces we have for the kit are the tires. These are again 14 inch diameter, inner diameter tires. And we have two metal rods right here for our axles cut and ready to fit. Now these tires have a backing on them which will allow that wheel to fit in there and lock into place around this inner rim. And that completes our review of the AMT Ertl Model King 1964 Mercury Comet Calente Edition. Well, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video of the 1964 Mercury Comet. And I sure hope that you can find one out there in Cyberland by, of course, looking on eBay looking at garage sales, and going and visiting your local hobby shops. Except for Monster Hobbies, because this one's mine, I'm keeping it. Hee <laughs> hee! But anyway, next week I've got another great series from the 1964 cars, and I know that you don't really want to miss that. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and pound that notification bell, so that when I release that video, guess what? you are among the first people to know because it will appear right in your YouTube subscription updates. <laughs> so now the final goal is to get this video up to 100 likes so it goes really high up there in the Google search engines so that whenever anyone is looking for a 64 Mercury Comet, guess what? They get to see my great unboxing video and you will be a great help in that. So until next time, I'll see you down at the Model Kit Showroom.